upper 70s. Thank you, Alan. One beach destination just got more room for summer crowds. Dolphin Island renourished its beach with funding from the state of Alabama. News 5's Melissa Constanza takes us on the new sand. The trek to the water just got a little bit longer at Dolphin Island's East End Beach. The beach renourishment project finished this week, adding 325,000 cubic yards of sand. The price tag, $6.8 million. And one of the, one of the challenges there is, is where we have to get the sand from. You know, the farther away the sand is, the higher it is to move it. And the sand source that we found was about five miles south of the island, which is where the core dredge uh, dumps its dredge material. And so that's where it came from. The extra sand will protect part of the island from flooding. Many tourist attractions reside on the east end, including the Sea Lab, Fort Gaines, and the Bird Sanctuary. Another part of the project, new jetties to slow down sand erosion. We know that Mother Nature is going to shape this thing as she sees fit. We're already seeing some signs of that, and it's called equ equilibration. And so we know that it's going to morph as time goes. But some of the public feels there needs to be more changes, like parking and other accommodations. They need to have Porto Johns here for people to, you know, go to the restroom because there's, as you can see, there's no place for them to go. I'd come down here more often. I mean, it, it's nice. It's pretty. You still can play in the water. And you can play in even more sand. In Dolphin Island, Melissa Constanzer, News 5. This is the first time in Dolphin Island's history that they have renourished the beach. The island's next project is to add sand to the West End Beach.